Look right now at traffic on Highway 65 in Blaine. It's become one of the most congested and the most dangerous stretches of road in the metro. But big changes are coming. Here's Morgan Wolf. A massive construction project in Blaine got the green light for state funding. So we know that one of the huge important pieces of this project is the safety component and the lives that it will save. Blaine's mayor says that this project has been in the works for years because Highway 65's aging infrastructure has just bogged down traffic, but it's also made the road one of the most unsafe in the state. We averaged 10 calls a day in Blaine alone on Highway 65, 10 calls a day that we are tying up resources that we are going to help people who've been in a crash, who, uh, who may be hurt, who may be killed. The plan will be done in three phases, constructing four new overpasses at 97th Avenue, 105th, 109th, and 117th Avenue. No more intersections, no more stoplights, north, south, east, west. The project's price tag, $163 million. The state just approved $100 million for the project, and it already has $15 million in federal funds. From the Biden infrastructure law signed last year. We host multiple sporting events throughout the year, some of them international, and you have the Target USA Cup and the 3M Open, the PGA Tour coming into town. So what's next? The city is forming the official construction plan right now with state engineers and securing land. Those are kind of the two things that we have left to do before we can get shovels in the ground. The goal is to start the project by 2025. I asked around to some people that live in the area and some local businesses, and they agree that Highway 65 needs a major update. However, there is some concern for construction once it starts. So a lot of these businesses are hoping that they will be able to work with the city throughout that process. In Blaine, Morgan Wolf, CARE 11 News.